Coming. Okay. Hi, Graham. Hi. How are you? Good. Well, good to see you. Yes, yeah, good to see you. All right, I'm going back there now. The tripod. I can do that. What do you think, trip hazard? It's a trip hazard. Stop. Suzanne. Suzanne? Yeah. That's what you're going with? Yeah. Not like mama ass or no, something like that? No. Gotta be classy. Susie? No. What? Oh, it's okay. That was nothing bad. Thank you, though. Is it this dance of Jew? Celebration between Meredith and Jason. I know Ask who gives this bride away. We do. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith, 
heard it, Jason, have you come here today of your own free will and without reservation to give yourselves to one another in holy matrimony? Yes. yes. Then let us pray. God, our Father, love has been your richest and greatest gift to the world. Love between a man and a woman which matures into marriage is one of your most beautiful types of love. Today we celebrate that love. May your blessings be on this wedding service. Protect, guide, and bless Meredith and Jason in their marriage. Surround them and us with your love, now and always. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. No. <laughs> Sit if you want. No, I'm good. Okay. We will now have a reading from the Old Testament by Meredith's brother, Kevin. Yeah, just dump the end here. <clears throat> a reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for a man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God has thrown out of the ground all the beasts of the field and all the birds of the air. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each year the future, that was the name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds of the air and all the beasts of the field. But for Adam, no suitable help was found. So the Lord God called the man to find into deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and closed up the face of flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. For she is taken out of man. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be reunited with his wife, and they will become one flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to Lord. We will now have a reading from the New Testament by Carol. The Lord be with you. Also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, 
that you were joined me before. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ, today's readings speak of love and of marriage. Let us reflect for a moment on what the Lord is saying to us. In our first reading from Genesis, we are told that God recognized that it was not good for the man to be alone. He made Adam a mate suitable for him. God knew from the beginning of time that we should not be alone, that we should have a companion. And together with that companion, we will leave our fathers and mothers and become one. In our second reading, St. Paul tells us that without, without love, we are nothing. Even if I have all faith so as to move mountains, he writes, but have not love, I am nothing. He then describes to us how we should love. We should be patient and kind. We should never envy or boast. We should not be arrogant or rude. We should always remember that love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Most importantly, love never ends. In the Gospel reading, our Lord Jesus Christ himself tells us that as the Father loved him, he loves us. Therefore, he is bringing us God's love. He tells us to abide in his love. And if we do, his joy will remain in us, and our joy will be full. Finally, he tells us that as he has kept the Father's commandment, we must also keep his commandment to love one another, as he himself loves us. Meredith and Jason, today I encourage you to take these words of sacred scripture to heart, especially with this beautiful theme of love. As you live your lives together, always remember your love for each other. The love that you feel at this very moment is the strength that God gives you to endure. If you continue to love one another with the love that you feel right now, then there are no obstacles, there are no problems, there are no difficulties that together you can overcome. All the problems that you may encounter, even those that seem to be overwhelming, will be nothing as long as you continue to love one another as Christ loves you. Meredith and Jason, God bless you on this, your wedding day, and every day of your marriage. And may your wedding day prayer come from today's readings, that you are never alone, but you will become one. That together you will love each other by being patient and kind, by bearing, believing, hoping, and enduring with each other, by being filled with joy as you love each other as Christ loves you. And if you continue to live this prayer every day of your marriage, then as St. Paul so eloquently tells us, for the two of you, love will never end. Amen. Meredith and Jason, having just heard readings from sacred scripture to discuss love and marriage, are you now prepared to exchange your vows with one another? Yes, we are. Yes. Jason, please repeat after me. Look at me. I oh, yeah, <laughs> forgot about that. That was important. Hi. Hi, Jason Scott. Hi, Jason Scott. Take you, Meredith Ann. Take you, Meredith Ann. To be my wife. To be my wife. Holy crap. I promise to be true to you. <laughs> I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. And in sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. <laughs> and honor you. All the days of my life. All, all of the days of my life. Meredith, please repeat after me. Hi, Meredith Ann. Hi, Meredith Ann. Take you, Jason Scott. Take you, Jason Scott. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Have you brought symbols of your love to exchange with one another? Yes. Yes. Let us pray. Lord, bless these rings, which we bless in your name, and grant that they who wear them, Meredith and Jason, may always have strong faith in you, 
deep trust in each other, and always live together happy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, Almighty God, bless these rings in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Jason, please take the ring, place it on Meredith's finger, and repeat after me. Meredith Ann. That's, that's mine. Ring. That is mine. <laughs> I was so excited to get that on me. <laughs> Meredith Ann. Meredith Ann. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Meredith, please take the ring placed on Jason's finger and repeat after me. Jason Scott. Jason Scott. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, with confidence in God's love and mercy, let's together now offer our needs and our petitions. Please respond, Lord, to our prayer. For Meredith and Jason, that the vows they have just taken today guide them throughout their lives together, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Meredith and Jason, that in their times of need, as well as happiness, that they always allow Christ to be present in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the parents of Meredith and Jason, who raised them in the faith and guided them on their journey to this day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the family and friends who are here assembled today, that they may bear witness to the love shared by Meredith and Jason, and also be an inspiration to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the family members and friends of Meredith and Jason, who have touched their lives and been called home by God, that they may find eternal rest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our God. For all those intentions that we keep in the silence of our own hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, hear our prayers, answer our needs, be merciful and compassionate towards us, and send your Holy Spirit to guide us all the days of our lives. We ask this through Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now, everyone, right, please join me in praying for Meredith and Jason. Let us together pray our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <laughs> Let us pray. Father, hear our prayers for Meredith and Jason, who today are united in marriage in your presence. Give them your blessings and strength in their love for each other. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. And I invite everyone to please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Father, to reveal the plan of your love, you made the union of husband and wife an image of the covenant between you and your people. In the fulfillment of this sacrament, the marriage of Christian man and woman is a sign of the marriage between Christ and the church. Father, stretch out your hand and bless Meredith and Jason. Lord, grant that as they begin to live this sacrament, they may share with each other the gifts of your love and become one in heart and mind as witnesses to your presence in their marriage. Help them to create a home together. Give your blessings to Meredith, your daughter, so that she may be a good wife and mother, caring for the home, faithful in love for her husband, generous and kind. Give your blessings to Jason, your son, so that he may be a faithful husband and good father. 
Father, grant that as they come together to your table on earth, so they may one day have the joy of sharing your feast in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Jason and Mary, having exchanged your vows today in the sight of God and everyone here assembled, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Count. Count. <laughs> They're really counting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and you're stuck. Okay. Don't trip over the pumpkins. Uh, I'll stay on the grass. <laughs> Safer that way. Blake. <laughs> 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 <laughs>